how to make progress in your life. No matter what stage of life you are in, you may feel as though you're stuck in a rut and not able to get anywhere. Making any kind of progress, not matter how small, can keep you feeling healthy and engaged in life. By establishing and actively working towards specific goals, you can make progress in any aspect of your life that you like. Setting a path towards progress. Take responsibility for your actions. Your ability to make progress in life is often directly related to your willingness to take responsibility for your actions. Think about different aspects of your personal and professional life to figure out changes that could help you progress in life. CE2, greater than for example, if bad grades or even a bad attitude are keeping you from getting into the college or job of your choice, accept your role and work on setting new goals for yourself. Identify sources of insecurity. Being insecure can also hinder your progress. Figure out what may be causing you to feel less than confident, which can help you find a path to progress. List causes of insecurity or anxiety for you. Consider which elements you have the power to change in order to make tangible progress. For example, if you don't have the same education as colleagues who are getting promotions, note that this may be causing a lack of confidence that affects your job performance. From here, you can either plan to further your education or distinguish yourself in some other way at work. Speak to a friend, colleague, or counselor about your lack of confidence and what is causing it. Discuss ways that you can boost your confidence. Offset your lack of confidence by focusing on something at which you excel or that gives you confidence. For example, if you don't feel comfortable speaking in public, tell yourself that in spite of this, you write eloquent presentations. List causes of insecurity or anxiety for you. Consider which elements you have the power to change in order to make tangible progress. For example, if you don't have the same education as colleagues who are getting promotions, note that this may be causing a lack of confidence that affects your job performance. From here, you can either plan to further your education or distinguish yourself in some other way at work, speak to a friend, colleague, or counselor about your lack of confidence and what is causing it. Discuss ways that you can boost your confidence, offset your lack of confidence by focusing on something at which you excel or that gives you confidence. For example, if you don't feel comfortable speaking in public, tell yourself that in spite of this, you write eloquent presentations. Formulate tangible goals. Before you can start making changes that promote progress, you have to establish goals for yourself. By formulating specific aims for the short, mid, and long term, you can easily remind yourself of what you're working towards. Use the SMART method to develop your specific goals. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, Timely. For example, maybe you want to improve your half marathon time. Your goal would be, I want to improve my current half marathon time by 10 minutes within the next 6 months. I'll add 2 extra speed workouts per week and incorporate hills into one of my other runs. Write your goals on paper. A visual cue can help reinforce your goals. For example, you could write the following, my short-term goal is to take more initiative at work. My mid-term goal is to get a master's degree and apply this to my job or another job. My long-term goal is to manage my own team at work, update your goals as necessary. Every few months, reevaluate them as a benchmark and to ensure they're still attainable. Keep expectations realistic. Maintaining attainable expectations throughout life can help you progress more easily. It may also impart more confidence to make positive changes. Check if your goals are realistic by speaking to another person or doing some research on whichever aspect of your life in which you'd like make progress. For example, if you are working full-time and want to get a master's degree, it's unlikely that you can finish in one year without quitting your job. However, exploring programs and seeing what is possible over the course of a few years may help you more easily get through a program. Keeping your company informed may also be to your benefit. It shows your willingness to make progress and improve your qualifications, which could lead to promotions or more responsibility in your job. Keeping your goals attainable can prevent anxiety that might hinder your progress. Consider talking to superiors, friends, or family members about your goals to help keep them in check. Check if your goals are realistic by speaking to another person or doing some research on whichever aspect of your life in which you'd like make progress. For example, if you are working full-time and want to get a master's degree, it's unlikely that you can finish in one year without quitting your job. However, exploring programs and seeing what is possible over the course of a few years may help you more easily get through a program. Keeping your company informed may also be to your benefit. It shows your willingness to make progress and improve your qualifications, which could lead to promotions or more responsibility in your job. Keeping your goals attainable can prevent anxiety that might hinder your progress. Consider talking to superiors, friends, or family members about your goals to help keep them in check.
believe in your success. A person who is able to make progress often has two important traits. She has confidence in herself and believes in her ability to succeed. Cultivate and project confidence, which can help set you on the path for progress. Give yourself positive affirmations every day. For example, you can say, I'm going to get all of my work done and enjoy class so that I can finish my MBA. Surround yourself with people who believe in your success and actively support you making progress. Confidence comes from different places, such as knowing you have proper education and training or from maintaining good personal and professional relationships. Understand that both disappointment and failure are important parts of making progress. For example, even someone as successful as Steve Jobs experienced failures on his path to success. Give yourself positive affirmations every day. For example, you can say, I'm going to get all of my work done and enjoy class so that I can finish my MBA. Surround yourself with people who believe in your success and actively support you making progress. Confidence comes from different places, such as knowing you have proper education and training or from maintaining good personal and professional relationships. Understand that both disappointment and failure are important parts of making progress. For example, even someone as successful as Steve Jobs experienced failures on his path to success.